Right now, half of Americans are in a digital police lineup just for getting their driver's license photo taken. These photos generate a face print that tracks key facial landmarks like the distance between pupils or the broadness of the nose. Law enforcement officials say this technology could help catch criminals, find missing people, and even prevent crimes. Facial recognition systems, however, were never built to be used this way. In one case, the New York Police Department did not have a clear view of a thief's face in security footage. When it was observed the perpetrator looked like actor Woody Harrelson, the NYPD combined Harrelson's face with a pixelated one of the suspects, leading to that man's arrest. The NYPD sets its face recognition system to pull 200 or more matches in each search. In some documented cases, the algorithm concluded other matches looked more like the suspect in question rather than the person that was actually charged and arrested. This means there's a lot of room for error, and the defendant often isn't even given this information. And though it's rare for a person to be arrested based solely on a facial recognition match, a false match will likely lead to at least a visit from police. Facial recognition algorithms are less accurate for women and people of color, so people who fall into these groups may suffer the most from this technology. Some states like California, Oregon, and New Hampshire are beginning to ban police use of facial recognition software. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.